I don't even know what to say. The other day I hopped onto the App Store and to my surprise a mobile version of a set of course it was available for download. Now I was pretty excited. I said of course on mobile. After that hideous Real Racing 3 review I did, I'll finally be able to review a good mobile racing sim. Or so I thought. Grap 1. What the hell are those graphics? Now, I started to become worried when I glanced over these lovely screenshots here on the App Store. Usually in the racing game world, developer screenshots are polished up with the games pushed to their max settings. Well, if these screenshots were the best that good folks had to set a course it could put out, oh boy. I mean, take a look at them. Now, before we get any farther, I want to actually read to you some of these reviews on this game, just so we know kind of what we're getting into. Well, it's so disappointing with the released version. One star. Haha, <laughs> it looks much different with your screenshots on the App Store pages. Yo, look at the graphics and compare with in-game. On the App Store page has higher t shadows and higher textures, while in-game we don't have any shaders or shadows or textures. Where's graphics settings? It doesn't look like prepped for rollout to the world yet. Do you plan to update with graphical improvements and adding more features? Until then, I won't play this game. Well, at least Great Auto Sport took longer, but it assured graphical quality and performance. A Zero Star Game One Star What a disappointment. I thought with the long load times, the graphics would have been great. Nope, graphics are horrific, even on the latest iPad Pro. Feels like a game designed 15 or 10 years ago with very limited controller options. There's no menu, no settings, save your cash. It is not worth it. Alright, here I am in the actual game. Now, we're still talking about graphics here. Well, my hopes were low, but then when I loaded up the game, I realized I should have been even lower. I mean, look at the quality of the car. You can see jagged edges, you can see all the pixels, all you want. This is an iPhone 11, come on. We have better graphic quality than that on games 10 years old. I mean, this is kind of not going to be a, uh, what you would call a positive review if you couldn't tell. So, if you want some positivity, I would recommend going somewhere else. I mean, this is a racing game. All they have to do is render in the tracks and the cars, and they did a horrible job for both. Normally, I wouldn't be so harsh, right? But this is a set of Corsa. They kind of know how to make games, or that's what I thought, so... They really don't deserve any second chances here. I mean, right there, you could see the shadows. I mean, they're all minimal shadows, but it makes the pixels look even worse. And like that one review was saying, there are no shaders on this game at all. I mean, it, it looks horrible. I mean, coming from Forza Horizon, obviously it looks bad, but even compared to some other, like, Asolute Racing on the mobile, that looks better, and that game's like 10 years old, so really no excuse here. Side note, these two cars are the starter cars, so even though you start with that cool Alfa Romeo, you get to pick between these two pieces of junk. So, just a warning there. Grab 2. What the hell are those physics? Alright, here we go, ready to start my race and my piece of junk Fiat. Now here we're going to test out the physics a bit. Here we go, starting the race, cycling through the views there for you. Now the interior view actually isn't that bad other than the fact it's not shaded, but uh, anyways, physics, here we go. Now, I've played a set of course uh, on PC and Xbox before. I know how the game is supposed to handle. Let me tell you, I don't know if it's the gyroscope controls here or just the fact that they didn't try making this game, but these controls are awful. You turn the phone and you only have two options when you turn, either your steer, your it's all about that. <laughs> Either your wheels don't turn at all, or when you turn it a little bit, they turn all the way, so you end up spinning out like a piece of junk Fiat, like you are. So, if you like spinning out and uh, not being able to control your car, this is the game for you. So I'll finish my race, and I get this right here. It is necessary to download additional data, about 1.3 gigabytes of data. Look, I already downloaded about three gigabytes of the game, and it looks this bad. I am not doing that. Alright, just a little side note here. I was looking through the menu. I could not find the garage to save my life. It's a car game. What car game doesn't have a garage where you can look at your cars? Well, apparently it said, of course, a mobile. A gold standard, apparently, of mobile racing does not even have a garage. I was scrolling through everything, scrolling through events, most of which I can't even play because I didn't download anything. Not up there, not here. 
not anywhere. The only thing I could find to select some cars, which you'll see coming up in just a bit, is when you select a race, it shows you the cars in that class that you can use. I'm pulling it up here. But anyways, you select an event and it only shows you the cars in that class. And I think there's only six in the crap class that I'm in with the Fiat. So here we go, classic race, time attack, all that stuff. And then there's this button. All you can see is like six cars there. So great, great job, Saddle Corsa. Fantastic game. I mean, what can I say? 10 out of 10. Amazing. Conclusion. Do not buy this game. Guys, seriously, don't buy this game. Unless you're a multi-millionaire who can afford to blow money on waste of time like this. Just don't do it. All those YouTubers, IGN, game reviewers, car YouTubers that are playing this game telling you how great it is. They're getting paid. Let's be honest, they're getting paid. I'm not getting paid to do this. So, let me tell you from my heart. Do not buy this game. Seriously guys, five bucks can really be spent better elsewhere. Go to Subway, pick up a sandwich for five bucks. A big foot long sandwich. Go to McDonald's, buy a couple burgers for yourself. At least you're getting at least some nutrition out of that. Now this game, no nutritional value whatsoever. If I was the FDA, I would give this game an F. And as a game reviewer, I give this game an F, and I'm going to retire forever now. Goodbye, folks.